In the last video, we deleted all the sections in our default storyboards. So all that we've got on here right now is actually just the video screen. So there's nothing here really, but we can actually use this. So what I want to do is I go to the file. I'm going to save as. Again, make sure it is being saved as storyboard.xltm and it's going into the Applied Computer Services folder and it has to be a micro-enabled template. If it's not, you click on the drop down, select the Excel micro enable template and be sure and save it that way because we want all the logic to, to go with the, uh, the save here. If we click on the save. It's going to tell you it's already there, obviously. I want to replace it. Yes. Now, there's only one video screen on here. It's not very useful to you right now, but we're going to build on this here. So what I can do is I can close out of this. And here's the process we were dealing with uh, in the earlier videos where we were actually showing how it worked. I come down to the task name at the bottom of the operation I want to create the storyboard for. I hit the right button. I select the storyboard item. And in a couple of seconds, the information's out here. And you can see, I've just got the listing of the various steps here. Insert component, insert LED, cover with ESD tape. Those correspond, if I make this smaller, you can see those actually correspond to the activities here. Insert component is this one here. Insert LEDs is here. Cover with ESD is at the top. And it's here, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I have my information here. Now I can actually run this. If I go to my storyboard here, all I'm gonna get here, since all I have is the video control, is the videos are gonna play. And here are our videos. So the first one's gonna play for nine seconds. Next one will play for 30 seconds. We'll just watch the first two here. So I go to the storyboard here, and all I have here is the video control. I just click on the play, and it starts playing the video for me right here. So this is gonna play for nine seconds. And uh, then it's going to switch to the next one. So you see it switched there. So what it's doing right here, it's actually moving its way through the uh, storyboard by playing each of the videos in turn here. Now that's all we have on here right now. So now what I want to do is I want to add a section in here so that we can have some more detail built into our storyboard here. So I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to open up Excel again. It all has to be done via the master template. So we come back here and I'm going to pick up the storyboard.xltm. This one right here, it's the last one I used here. I open up and now I'm going to add a section. The way we do that could not be easier. We simply take our mouse and we just stretch it. So this is going to be the section. I hit the add section. It asked me for a color. I'm going to make it a yellow color just to make it pop out on the screen for our training purposes here. I click on the OK and you can see it's called it section one here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to format this. I'm going to introduce you to your first keyword and that keyword is going to be the word activity in braces. Now the braces are usually above the enter key on your keypad and I say activity. It's case sensitive, so make it capital A activity here. It's kind of small then, maybe we want it to really be bold here. Hit the right button, and then we can do font. And here we're going to make it, let's say I want to make it 24, and I want to make it bold. The default color is fine. I click on the OK, and now it's going to make it larger here. And now we have to save it. So again, I do the same thing. I do a file, I do a save as. Make sure it's the same name. Make sure it's XLTM down here. Click on the save. If you want to replace it, say yes. I can then close this, come back over here, hit the right button, and do my storyboard again. Pops it right out. And now you can see I've got boxes on the right here. This is the section I created with the appropriate color and the appropriate font, one for each of the individual steps in my process. So now if I go to my storyboard, and I hit the play button, I get the description and I get the video here. It's going to play for nine seconds. And then it's going to switch over to and set LEDs. And it's now marching through your process one step at a time, putting the work content in here. So now we've got one section in here. We want to start adding a, a couple of other sections to show you how you can start customizing this to your own needs here. So again, I'm going to close out of the storyboard. Notice it's creating a storyboard one up here. I always have to close out of and I'm going to reopen Excel and I'm going to bring back up my uh, storyboard template here. Okay, so let's say that's one section. Now we want to add another section. I can use this and I can say I want to put it in here. And this is going to be a bigger section here. 
Right, so I highlight it in Excel. I just say Add Section, and it says what color do you want to make it? Well, I could make it the same color, but let's just make it a different color just to show you how it works here. Right, again, you'd normally make it white so everything matched up. I then want to make sure this lines up with this, so I might put these two one on top of the other right here. Right, just place position exactly. These are shapes, so you can move them around quite easily here. And here we've got my section number two here. And I may want to use the same technique here, hit the right button, and I can format the font again. And usually what you'll find is a particular font will look good for you. I'm going to pick the 24, I'm going to make it bold. And this is going to be that, and I click on this. And I could actually change the text here. I might say, add anything you want. Okay, and that would be that. That's the format we have there. So this is the one here. Now we'll put another section in here. So maybe I want to put a whole section with, for, for notes down here below the video. So I can highlight this. Just highlight in Excel. So that may be a good area to put a lot of notes in there to tell the people what to do here. And I'm going to just do the same thing. I highlight it in Excel. I come up, I add a section. And it says, what color do you want to make it? I'm going to make it blue this time. Right, and I say here puts it in here and now I might want to change the font again here so again do the same thing so I come down here hit the right button I'm going to do the font here and I'm going to make it 24 here and maybe I want to make this a different color here so I could do it maybe a different color of font here so let's say I want to make this red really kind of awkward looking right now but that's okay and we might want to change the description here say put put operator notes here Okay, and maybe we want to show the time for the job like I had earlier. So I'm going to just put a big cell in here. I'm going to say time here. I'm going to put a new section right here. And this is going to contain the time. So I've come up here and I say add section. Uh, let's make it this orange color here. It's got a really multicolored uh, thing here. You wouldn't have that normally, of course. Now what we're going to do is do the same thing here. Right button. I'm going to change the font. We're going to make that uh, 24 again. And it's going to be bold. And it's fine, it can be black. And then what I'm going to do is change the description here. And what I want to do is change the description to another keyword that's going to be very useful for you. Again, use the braces and put the word time in here. Close the braces. So it's going to show you the time for the operation right in here. So now we're working on our storyboard XLTM. We put some new formats in here. We then go to File and we Save As. And we make sure, of course, storyboard.xltm, it's Excel macro enabled template, we save it here. Replace it, and then we're going to close out of it. Now we come back in here, we hit the right button, and we're going to run our storyboard now. And you can see now what it's done, it's regenerated the sheet, but now we've got new areas over here on the right. You can see here, here's activity, add anything you want, put operator notes in here. Uh, so I might add a note here, maybe over here in this one right here. We're going to add, I spelt that wrong, my mistake. So I apologize for that. I'm just going to say, uh, get part and place on circuit board. Right, that's the description that's going to come up here. And add anything you want here, we put the part number. So let's say part number XYZ. One, two, three, and I could say quantity of 10. Right, and this might say, I don't think you want here, I could say uh, um, parts are in bin. Okay, so what I'm doing is starting to customize the storyboard here. And then all I do is I can, when I've got those, I've got these for the first items here, I go to my storyboard and I say play. And you see parts are in bin. You can see the bin to the right of the operator. Get parts in place on circuit board. Again, I made a typo here, so I need to stop this. And I'm going to go back and fix it. So I go back to my template. And I come over here. And place. I made a typo there. I change that right here. Place it on, on the circuit board. OK. And come back to the storyboard and play it again. And now you can see my typo has been fixed here. So you can jump back editing the data here. You see the time down here has been placed in here automatically. Now it's going to change. Now we're on to the next one. And it's going to play through each of the steps in your process in turn. So here we're showing you how to add sections to your storyboard to start building up the custom storyboard for your operation.